Oh, see, it just slips right out. Ah. It's all worn out. So all the bungee cord's doing is just keeping the ball in the socket. Yeah, I gotta, gotta replace that. Hey, so I'm outside. I come out to fix the monster. It's windy as crap today. I got the door closed. That's all I got. But before I start, uh, that bolt right there. Uh, when I came home the other day, I noticed there was a nut sitting on the ground there. I looked up, and the nut was off it, and the bolt was halfway out. I was like, oh great, everything's coming apart. So before I start on the monster, I'm going to take a quick look around. 
just make sure everything's good and tight. I'm thinking maybe in the summertime. When I got all my other projects done. And maybe I'll grab some lock washers or lock nuts and put them on so I don't have to worry about it. But it's just pretty windy today. And it's pretty cold. I hate working in the cold. But I don't have a choice. I'm not going out with the monster looking like this. I'm really, really, really surprised at how easy that... Because I, I didn't hit that wood pile hard at all. It was not a hard hit. That shouldn't have caused any damage. But what I'm looking at... I don't know if you can see it in there. But the front part looks like it's just being held on by a couple bolts. And there's this plate there. And that looks like what's holding the bumper on. Or this whole front clip actually. And another bar at the bottom there. So I'm going to jack this thing up. Holy cow. <laughs> it's actually making me nervous. So I'm going to jack this thing up and take a look for underneath it and see what I can find. Okay. It's actually pretty scary in here today. This thing is rocking and twisting and holy cow. Hopefully you can hear what I'm saying. Okay, got it up in the air now, and I'm looking, this little piece right here is broken off of there, that's one of the mounts, uh, the rest of it looks like these little tabs just slip underneath, holy smoke. I'm glad I have the door closed. But I want to point out one thing. Ugh. I don't have a lot of room in here right now. This is the ball joint. This is the one that broke on me. I just got the bungee cords holding it together. First it's all covered in ice now. <laughs> Can't break the ice off of it. There we go. See, it just slipped right out. <sighs> it's all worn out. So all the bungee cord's doing is just keeping the ball in the socket. So I gotta gotta replace that. Surprised it wore out that quick, but do you know anything about this type of ball joint? You'll know that was expected by me anyway. So I'm gonna take the oh I'm winded. I'm gonna take the bungee cord off and I'm gonna put actual steel wire on there. So it doesn't a little bit stronger. Just to keep everything together for now. I wish the warm weather would get here. I really want to clean this thing up, but I can't get the garden hose out until the weather warms up. Alright, so I was going to use the tripod, but I think today it's a little too high. Yeah, and I'd kind of like to get the camera down low to see what I'm doing, so. Today, I'm going to sit you on the floor and hope I can find something to prop it up, which I probably won't be able to. Um, hopefully that works. Okay. So I think I'm going to do ball joint first. 
Just that's out of the way. Get a bit of an estimate of how much wire I'm going to need here. Actually, I'll take a full circle. Prefer to have too much than not enough. First, that's why I couldn't get the bungee through there. There's a nut behind it. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is try to secure it up here through the hole. And if I can, actually. I'll move the camera up here. If you can get a better view. If I can get it to stay. <laughs> Why are you turning sideways? Hopefully you can see there. I get my needle nose. Okay, that's a scary thing. Oh. When I was driving and this thing broke, the whole wheel just turned right out sideways. Just like that. And it hit the... <laughs> it, did, it sounded like I hit a cardboard box and was dragging it. If you can imagine that sound. That was my first impression when I heard it, so I stopped and looked down to see what it was I hit. And the wheel was pointing out sideways, so I'm thinking, ah, oh, crap. I knew exactly what it was at that point. Now, thankfully, they use this type of ball joint on lawn tractors. Um, some of them use them on the steering mechanism. So I've seen a lot of videos on how to repair these ball joints when they break because apparently they are a problem. And when I originally got the monster and I saw them on here, I kind of cringed because I knew <laughs> they would be a problem at some point in time. I noticed in the fall that it was actually one of them anyways was actually starting to loosen up but I figured they'd last me till spring anyway but not quite okay now it's the easiest way easiest way to do this probably just wrap it around here I like the 
the ball joints that the ES950 has because the bolt goes right through them it goes right through the ball so even if the ball comes out of the socket there's still a washer there a bolt through it to keep it from coming apart completely this has nothing like that so it's just kind of there okay So that's a little better fixed. I'm so happy to have bungee cords with me. They had an actual way of get some oil in there. So I actually had a way of fixing it to get home. Yeah, I just want to get some oil into that joint just get a little, little more lubrication and you can see there's still some pretty good play there these things are just worn right out so that's that one now I'll move over to the other side and do that one. Thankfully this wasn't this one hasn't broken yet. So we're still good to go with that. But if one's gone, chances are the other one's not far behind. Come on. So I figure if I do this now, hmm, I'll find a better place for this. Yeah, there's some pretty good play in that. It's not gonna last much longer. I'll see if I can. Do this where you can actually see it. Maybe that worked? Well, hopefully that'll work. Wow. The wind is really scaring me. Yeah, where did I cut this off? I can't find the end of the roll. Wow. You know what? <laughs> I'm actually scared to be out here right now. That's scary stuff. Okay, that's up. I found it. I found the beginning of it. Finally. Okay. Now, full circle. Worked out alright on the first one. So I will do a full circle for this one as well. Yeah, of course, my tools are a mile away. I actually came out here to fix the monster's nose, but here I am. Uh, else, but this is important anyway, so it's got to be done. Oh, isn't that interesting? These fender braces here are just welded on to this bar 
but they're in two different places. There's two holes in here, and I was able to use both holes on the other side, but this one's back farther, blocking one of the holes. Which is kind of odd. Oh, why they're in two different places. But who am I to question? I don't build these things, I just write them. And apparently break them. Deal with the... Deal with the cheapness of some of the parts. Including these crappy old ball joints. <sighs> I'd like to find something to replace them with. I buy new ones, I'll just be doing this again. I'd like to replace them with something that's actually gonna work. Stay together for a while. Oops. Put that through here. So I'm not sure I finished saying what I was talking about earlier. I've seen videos on YouTube on how to fix these. I don't remember if I finished talking about that or not. So I didn't have any don't carry wire with me. I don't make that a habit. But I did a bungee cord and I knew that if I could get it on tight enough that it could keep the ball in the socket then that would do just fine for me. Oh. So, one thing I do have, I always have bungee cords with me. Not for emergency reasons, just for... when I'm buying stuff, just secures it in the basket so it doesn't bounce out. Hey. Almost done. Not a whole lot of room here. Okay. Think I got that. I think it's still a little bit of slack in it, but. Pull that up best I can. Just to kind of tighten it a little more. <coughs> Excuse me. And if I can, which I probably can't. automatically pull up on that. Yes, it will. Good. Try not to break this one next. Okay. So now, i to wrap this around here. Just to keep it all from going anywhere. Yo, win! Trying to make a video here! Ah, come on. That's pretty loud. Okay. So that takes care of the bottom ball joints. Now I just need to worry about the top ones. But that's not today. It'll be another day. Because today, 
I need to fix the monster's broken nose. So, there. I think I use a tripod for this one. Hopefully, can't really see. I don't know. I might just be able to bend that back. Is when I lifted this to put it on the jack, it kind of twisted a bit. I wonder. Hmm. In theory, when I hit the wood, I hit it with the very bottom. There's actually residue on it. I hit it with the very bottom. And I think that's why I got so much leverage to actually bend. Because I didn't hit it that hard. So, in theory, if I pull this back out, Again, in theory, I should fix it. So, I'm going to take the monster down off the stand. Oh, God. Uh, I have no strength today. And... Wow. Scary, scary wind. Okay, this might be a dumb thing to do. What? might not be the smartest thing. That actually seems to be making it go out further. Okay. So I see. Ah, there's no way around it. I gotta take the front off. Dang rabbit. Allen wrenches. Hate Allen wrenches. My least favorite tools. If I'm gonna be doing this, you might as well watch. See what's going on underneath if it's at all possible. I can find a, a cozy little spot. Yeah, just stick your head in here. 
Hopefully. Okay. Come on. Okay, hopefully that'll... Arg. I know what I gotta do. And underneath that, because it's probably gonna move anyway. Dirt on the lens? Nope. Okay, there we go, I think. Now, let's find out which size wrench I need. How the heck do I get in there? be the right one. Yeah. That's the right one. But how the heck do I get at it? Oh my goodness. It's time to go for sockets. If I have one. Oh, man. I really don't want to do this. Oh, isn't that nice? So... I don't even know. Where's my hex thing? Is that my hex? Sorta. Okay, and I don't have any screwdriver sets out here. What do I? Probably not. Just because I need it. I gotta go get some sockets. Dang. And it's gone. Where the f It's gone. Gotta find it now. It should be right in there. Well, folks, change of plans. I don't have the tools that I need. They're not in the basement. They're not out here. That's fra Holy cow, quiet. <laughs> Where are you going to win? What's the problem? 
people borrow my tools, they don't bring them back. And then when I need them, I don't have them. So, I gotta do things a little differently. If that will even work. Can't even get any leverage on that. So easy to bend in. How the heck? Why won't it bend back? Holy cow! I don't know if I can do it from this side. That's not going to work. outside apparently <sighs> okay so once summer comes See if I can fix those broken clips. But for now, it's working. It's together. I'm happy enough. I just don't recall that being on top. Maybe that's just from my feet. Yeah, 
I really don't remember that. Yeah, it must have been that way. It fits a whole lot better. So, that's a little more work than I expected. Stick that back in the hole. Hopefully that stays on there for now. Cause I'm done for today. Too cold out. Problem is the wind is so nasty in here. Wow. But at least there's a bit of sunshine that's actually making it a little warmer in here. Another thing I forgot to point out is when when that ball joint broke and this tire turned sideways, it brought my attention to the fact that it is flat. So I have no idea how long I've been driving on a flat tire. It's a front tire, so there's not a lot of weight on it, so that's why I didn't know. So that's something else I gotta change once the weather gets warm. So that's it for today. Monster's looking kind of better. I just say better. I'll do a little better job once the weather warms up and I can actually feel like working. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. With this wind, I have a feeling I'm going to lose my flag today. Hmm. There we go. Didn't want to connect. Turn it off for now. Yep. Channel move. Guess I better grab my gloves.
own stuff here. And it was dripping down on both sides. I noticed this earlier in the winter. Okay. So when this is up inside, it's resting right against this thing here. And I'm afraid it's going to bind. <laughs> 